Oh, nice. These guys are actually doing good with their aiming for once. And it's been interesting for him to keep the memory in, so he can see him to seal himself off in here. So maybe a good idea to keep him in there by himself. Because he can. Oh, well, actually, if he's gun jams, he's got no one to give him back up, I suppose. Now, this guy, I want to get down to here because the thing about the flamer is that he can't overwatch, but his uh, flamer is very powerful to make up for that. I think how this guy is going to do it is. Shoot the door down. I'm going to turn around and make him open that. Probably could use this move points a little bit more effectively actually to get the rest of the guys in position, but whatever. Overwatch array, I don't think Alien could possibly make it that far, but um, now it hurts to be too prepared. Okay, I think I've decided this Marine's going to get down here. Flamer, um... He'll stand ready to give us support to wherever he needs to. Bit needs to. So I can't get himself in position to cover down there. Um, open. Damn it. Uh, so probably save myself a movement point by doing that. Uh, flame is already moved. This guy. Let's say move into there and turn him round. Because he can watch down that area. Oh god, there's already aliens here. I didn't even realise. I didn't give enough points to overwatch. Luckily, I don't think alien is in close enough to redo really much to him. Oh wait, you take one shot. Yes. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Hopefully that power sword is... Well, I've probably had training in how to use it anyway. There we go. Flamers, though, they can be devastating to, G to uh, Gene Studders, although they're not always a assured kill. Like, it is possible that... Um, a gene steer can survive in the fire. Take one step back so that he is a, um, a little longer to try and hit the alien before it kills him and his buddy. And I think that's everyone. And of course, I always have the option here to move one guy out of the way and get the other guy to take some shots if worse comes to worse. Okay, that guy's going to have, I'd say, enough time to do an out of four turn movement and next time focus on turning around properly. Let's get that door open just in case. But that's why we have a swarm of aliens up to come down there. Just like the greatest thing in the world. Um, Almost end my turn there without him putting him on Overwatch, which he could have spelled the end of the game for me, to be honest. One of those slip up and he could really just doom it for the entire team. Oh, brilliant shooting there. And for once, I can say that without sarcasm. I'm not so impressed with the sergeant, however. I think I'll do a close combat attack though the Gene Seekers and have a chance on me, so I'd rather not do that. Do that on Overwatch. <laughs> I'm not trusting that Sergeant's live, so I'm gonna turn him round so he's ready to flame that room if the sergeant happens to go down. You know what everyone else will prepare. 
It might have been nice actually to get that door shot down, shot, uh, shot down at some point. In fact, I could probably do that now. What else have I got? Can't move sideways, can I? Don't get why. They can move every other direction, turn. Pretty much do anything other than walk sideways. And. Uh, time to rethink our formation. One thinks. Um, you see, <laughs> one slight flaw in the formation, and the entire squad can go down. And now these two guys have to cover three doors. Which, you know, never ends well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, luckily, there's no vents or anything. Um, it is quite easy to sort of calculate the movement. Unfortunately, I do forget how much a gene stealer can move. I don't know if it varies between gene stealer and gene stealer. And also, I explained how the turn point, how the movement points go. Every um, space marine or terminator, I can call them space marines. They're technically part of the Space Marine Force, so why don't I call them that anyway? Have four points that they can use every time, they're action points. And plus, you roll a dice and see how many command points you get every turn, and that will allow you to pretty much move about. And you know, whenever I get a red action, that means I'm spending the CP, which is something that's shared between the entire squad, but it lets me get extra actions off in a desperate situation. Um, I think on other versions of this game, you could use that to unjam your weapon during an enemy turn if you save your CP, because that can't be done in this game. I don't think there's any point of keeping it at all. Now I'm all worried about the aliens over there, so get ready. Oh god. Damn it. <laughs> Now we're getting some right sharp shooting here. Nice one. Yeah, I'm probably have to kill 40 of these damn things. <laughs> oh dear, and I think that's just spent, spelt the doom of this squad. Oh, just stops. Unfortunately, now there's so many aliens next to us, don't forget actually we had to clear it up in the so little CP we've rolled. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think you could be attacked by either one of these. Definitely this one. Not gonna have time to turn around, he's just gonna have to overwatch like that and hope for the best. Hang on a sec, I didn't overwatch that guy. Fuck. Um <sighs> I got a feeling that we are dead. Possibly one marine left alive. Well, he did some skillful shooting, but his buddy behind him is going to die. And that's going to leave him open in the rear. Nope. He can turn around. He can redeem himself. Nope, because the angle he was at didn't get, manage to get shot off. And that's how quickly a squad can get wiped out. <laughs> Try mission. Return to main menu. Anyway, this is just a quick little one set showing off this game. Um, please put some feedback into where you want to see a full let's play of this. I, when I do the full let's play, I'll read out all the briefing stuff, and I will also show the tutorials for anyone who thought that I did a terrible job of explaining this. And, you know, um, there's also a way to, for me to implement a way for them to all be named after subscribers. 
or anything else I decide to name them after, so I can have that in as well when the full Let's Play of this does come. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to go off and play something else random. Catch you next time.